Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, something happened to me on a cruise that I'm sure a lot of people panic about. Because when it happened to me, a bunch of people around me were, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, well, I just got back from my tour in Costa Rica. And um, when I was walking, so I'm, I'm going out and I, you know, you have your medallion, you scan your medallion when you leave the ship so they know you're left. And when you come back on, you scan it when you come on. And here you have to go through border security on the bus. And they said, when you come back, all you're going to have to do is show that you have your medallion to get back on the ship. They're going to walk down the aisle of the bus and they're going to show it. And the bus was literally 50 feet from when we get off the ship. It's like right there on the cruise dock. Well, do you notice, do you notice anything missing there? Huh? Between the security and the bus, the medallion right there. See if I can get it to focus in there for you. Anyway, anyway, the the princess medallion came off, and uh, I need that to get back on the ship. And a lot of people were, "What's going on? How? how what are you going to do? What are you going to do?" Well, so this, <laughs> we go on our thing, and so let me tell you a little bit about the excursion, and I'll tell you uh, what I did when I came back. So the excursion was the Slaw Sanctuary, the Butterfly Gardens, and the Aerial Tram. So it's a nine hour day. It was an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes to our first stop, the uh, Slaw Sanctuary, where they had a bunch of different monkeys, uh, birds, all animals that cannot be released to the wild, by the way. They're not, it's not a zoo, it's a sanctuary, they're rescue animals. Um, if they did not have this place, these animals would have been put down. So it's not, you know, plus they don't even allow you to take selfies with the animals and they don't allow you to hold the animals. They're all, they'll, they might put them on display on the ground. At one point we saw some sloths on the ground or they're wild and they're hanging in the trees and they feed them, but they do not allow you to touch them in case a lot of people were worried about stuff like that. We saw a few babies, it was really cute, really cute area. Uh, I had a lot of fun there. Some really interesting pictures and the sloths are, as always are super cute. Then we had another hour and a half bus ride from there to go to, <laughs> The aerial tram, which is also where you would go for zip lining, as well as the butterfly gardens. Now, there were three sloth excursions. One had a river cruise, one had the butterfly gardens, and one had a uh, ox cart factory. Didn't really want to do the ox cart factory, but I wouldn't mind doing the jungle river cruise. But Angelina wanted to see the butterflies. The butterflies, it's a big deal want to see the butterflies. She didn't want to do the aerial tram, but she wanted to see the butterflies. So we went to the see the butterflies and there's one thing. You know what would have made the butterfly gardens even better? Is if there were actually butterflies in the butterfly garden. That's right. I saw maybe four, maybe five butterflies in the entire area. And people were walking around looking for butterflies. And when we finally spotted one or two on the ground, you had like 12 people trying to take a photo of these poor two butterflies in on a leaf. Um, so yeah, they need to do something about that. It wasn't a butterfly garden. It was a couple butterflies in an area. I've seen more butterflies in my backyard than I've seen here. And I don't have any plants or anything to bring butterflies around. It's just a fact.
They were beautiful butterflies, by the way. Gorgeous, huge butterflies, uh, big blue wingspan, beautiful. Had they had a variety, I, I think I saw one other type of butterfly in there. So yeah, they need to do something about that. And then we had a, a little walk around and we did go over all the different plants that are there because it's an equi equatorial land, many, many different plant species and different, you know, different, they have 22 types of mango here, etc. They showed us cocoa, they showed us lime, they showed us mint, they showed all kinds of different plants. Even saw some bats in a plant that's nicknamed Panama hat. Uh, because the leaves are normally like this, but they'll fold over like this. And the bats go up inside to keep out of the sunshine and out of the heat. And so we saw some bats in some of those. Very in That was very cool and very interesting. And the aerial tram, basically you just, you go up and you come down. There's eight to nine people in a tram. It was what it was. Um, not much to see, like very peaceful, very tranquil, a few bit of water coming. I wouldn't call them waterfalls, but streams coming down, lots of plant life. We saw one toucan bird. Uh, you could hear birds. Sometimes you see monkeys. We didn't see any monkeys. Um, and it goes up and it just turns around and it takes about 55 minutes. So we had jokes and we were con conversing with everybody because we knew everybody in the in our group in the tram. As far as learning anything or in, not really because there was no guide on it. There was no speakers to say, okay, here is a, this is supposed to be the new forest. This is supposed to be the old forest. Didn't really learn anything, but it was very very peaceful. You get up high at some point. If you if you were up in the front, you could see half decent on the way back down. Other than that, you're looking at like the side of a hill gradually in your window going up like this because, you know, it's a gradual slope like this and you're you're pretty close to it. So you don't really see much. But off to the side, you can see down. Eh, eh, eh. It, it wasn't my best excursion I've ever been on. Interesting, but a very, very long day. Again, I think I would have been more impressed had the you know, I've been to Victoria, British Columbia at the Butterfly Garden there. They've have been uh, Butterfly Garden in Florida. And you walk in and they're everywhere, floating all over the place. And there, there's tons of them. There are four or five in this whole area. So very unimpressed with that. Sloss enjoyed it. That was a good time. So... Out of what I've heard now from everybody else on board that went on this, I think I would have been better off doing the sloth with the cruise, like the jungle cruise one. Um, I think, oh, oh, sorry, it also included lunch. And everyone raved about the lunch. The lunch was included. They loved it. I didn't eat. I'm trying not to eat a whole bunch on this cruise. I don't want to gain a whole bunch of weight now that I lost it. So, yeah. They, uh, people said the lunch was really good. And now we head back. It's an hour and a half back to the cruise port and I'm missing my medallion. So what do I do? The security comes on board and he's walking up and he's checking everybody's medallion like that. And I just hold mine up, but I hold it backwards. So the strap is here, not where the medallion there. And he just looks and he sees that I have the wristwatch strap on there and he just continues down. Angelina has hers, continues down, gets off, no problem. Now I get to the ship. What do you do with the ship? Hi, look, medallion fell off. I'm in this cabin. They look up, there's your picture. Donald, yes, there it is. Perfect, come on on board. And when we came on, on we happened to walk in through security right at customer service. I walked over and they gave me a new one. So I, however, this does no good because there's nothing to attach it to. <laughs> but uh, luckily for me, I have my old one is sitting here. So I can take this off, get rid of that, put the new one in there, 
I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more broken things? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.